Uh, hit, the, hit that red button over there. All right, so Dave, just say, look, Steve, I, I appreciate everything, but I, I can't pay 1010 for that Tahoe. Uh, Steve, I can't pay 1010 for that Tahoe. Um, um, Dave, I, I understand. Um, when somebody sees a payment that's uh, you know, in the four digits now, oftentimes there's some concern about it. It's not a problem. We understand. Other than the payment, though, nothing else stops you from taking the uh, Tahoe, Tahoe home today. No, sir. Okay. Look, Dave, um, pretty much everybody knows that uh, automobiles, SUVs, trucks, they're all depreciating assets, right? Right. Okay. Now, this one's going to depreciate, too. This one just won't depreciate as much as most vehicles. However, what most people don't know is there is, there's a savings element to every car or truck payment anybody makes. Has anybody ever told you that before? I've never heard that before, Steve. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how it works. I, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at really how low your payment's going to be on this Tahoe, okay? Look, as much as you don't want to, i got a feeling you're going to end up paying 1010 for this Tahoe because I know, I know how much the vehicle means to you, which means every single month you are going to write out a check for 1010 to, to a lender. You're going to sign it. You're going to grit your teeth. And you're either going to stick it in the mail or you're going to send it electronically to a lender. All right. Now, what most people think is once they cut that check and send it off, it's gone forever. But it is not. Dave, when you make that last payment, okay, number one, you're going to be ecstatic. Number two, if you're a drinking man, you may take a drink. You may even buy a bottle of champagne. You may go out with your wife and celebrate. But once you make that last payment, something comes back in the mail to you a couple weeks later. What is that? The title the title and it's not like a normal title in that it's got your name on it nobody else's it is free and clear so you've got a piece of paper that's got value now if you just take average care of the title you drive 15,000 miles a year you don't crash it you don't trash it but you don't do anything special either what do you think it'll be worth in six years uh, 25 grand, 28 grand. Okay, let's, uh, let's split the difference. Let's say it's going to be 27.5. Okay? What that means is when that title arrives, you've got a piece of paper that's worth $27,500. Now, obviously, it goes with the Tahoe. What you can do with this might surprise you because it behaves just like a share of stock. You could sell it, you could trade it, or you could take it to the bank and borrow money against it. But the bottom line is, you have got a seriously valuable piece of paper and a seriously valuable asset in your Tahoe. Now, the question is, how much of this payment were you actually saving every single time you made the payment? Do me a favor. Grab that calculator right there. Take 27.5 and divide it by 72. 381, Steve. Dave, here's what this here's what the 381 represents. Remember the 1010? Yeah. Most people think that money goes into the deep recesses of the lender and never reappears. However, in your particular case, $381 of every single payment you make is flowing directly to your title, which means your net payment, well, What's 1010 minus 381? 629. Did you ever in a million years think that you could drive a 2016 Tahoe for a net payment of 621, 629? Never. I need your okay right here so we can get it cleaned up. Now, I'm telling you, um, of all the payment justifications I've seen in my entire life, I have never seen one this effective. The most common response from a consumer is, do that again. Do that again. Is it the truth? Yes. It's the truth. It's a, uh, this is not, there's nothing bullshit about this. Now, um, I've got this 
28, 29, 30 times on uh, YouTube, you know, different places, different parts of the country. Um, it's been, uh, in total, they've probably been viewed close to 50,000 times. I can't tell you how many comments and questions I've gotten from consumers because I get 90,000 views a month right now on my YouTube channel. Over half of them are consumers. Why would they be watching me role playing with car salespeople? I mean, I, I still don't get it. But over half of the views are from consumers. And the single most prevalent question is when can I start taking money out of my title? And I always answer them when you've paid your car or truck off then you can take money out, not until then. But if someone is sitting at home watching a role play and going, son of a bitch, we got money in our title. <laughs> that's, the, that's the key, your title. You have to have your title. Exactly, exactly. But if, if, if they can have that impact on a YouTube, how powerful will it be coming from one of you guys? All right. And the answer is, it's blow away powerful. But again, let me, let me again, I've, I've probably done this 200 times in front of real live customers. I'm going to guess that 60% closed right off the bat. 15 or 20% weren't going to close for love and their money. And we did have to negotiate the payment down. And the rest of them, it took just a little bit more effort to get it done. It is very, very effective. And how hard is it? The answer is, it ain't hard. So what we're going to do right now is we're, to, we're going to tell the story. We're each going to tell the story one time. And if, 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 if you do a halfway decent job, we're done. And I'm going to tell you the last group fucking killed it. James knocked it out of the park. Be her. Uh, say again? Be her. Uh, yes. Ryan, Nick. All the old people have heard it before. Uh, it's the first time I've ever seen it. I don't have a clue. Um, you will. I mean, you're you're going to be surprised at how easy it is. Um, we'll, here, we can turn the cameras off.